All right, welcome everyone to the Northwest Association for Blind Athletes circuit workout. Today is February 28th, the last day of February. February absolutely flew by. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and get started with a warm up. I'm going to turn some music on. You guys can let me know if it's good, if it's not good. Um, and we'll get rocking and rolling. All right, are you guys able to hear the music? Yeah. Barely. Barely. How about that? Better? Yes, Perfect. All right, we're gonna get started yeah. with some arm circles. I'm gonna do large arm circles backwards with both arms, reaching the arm all the way towards the ceiling and back behind you and around. Feel free to do this at whatever speed is comfortable for you. I am quite tight today, so mine are slow circles for sure. Get about 15 of those in. And when you feel ready to switch, you can switch to forward circles. And I'm switching to forward now. Both arms, same thing. Feel free to do one arm at a time if that's more comfortable for you. Whatever warms your body up. I think I chose a hype playlist today, so get ready to be hype. <laughs> All right, and as you're finishing those arm circles, we're gonna move into some high knees. I'm gonna do knee hugs. So as I step up, bring that knee up towards the sky, bend more than 90 degrees. I'm gonna pull it in towards my chest and release. Just one solid fluid moment, movement, whoops, excuse me. Um, we don't want to hold the stretch for too long. We just kind of want to get those muscles woken up. And I'm alternating between my left and right. Keep on alternating for another 10 seconds or so. ready we're gonna move into some arm hugs or crossbody hugs we're gonna start with our arms out in the T fingertips pointing in opposite direction we're gonna swing our arms forward keeping our arms straight and we're gonna almost give ourselves like a big hug so now my right hand is touching my left side left hand touching my right side and open them back up we're just gonna do a quick fluid motion Kind of tap the opposite sides of your hands. Um, get those shoulders opened up. Feel free to do as fast or as slow as you'd like. Get the shoulders, some of your neck opened up. About 10 more seconds. Feel free to speed it up, slow it down. All right, and when you feel good, we're gonna meet back. We're gonna do some side lunges. So we're gonna stand with our feet about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit closer together, whatever's comfortable for you. I'm gonna start with my left leg. I'm gonna take one big side step towards the left wall, left leg comes out towards the wall. Lean to the left so your left knee is bending, my right leg is more straight. Feel a little bit of a stretch in the inside of your hamstrings, then we're gonna step back to center and repeat with your right, step out to the right, lean in and bend that right knee, feel a little stretch and back to center. As soon as you feel that stretch, just enough to wake up that muscle. We're gonna immediately step back to center. We're not holding this position. We never wanna start with static stretching because you can injure yourself, you can pull muscles. Dynamic warm-ups are super important for warming up the muscles, getting them a little bit more elastic, get the blood flowing. 
So just alternate through these a couple more times. This one might get your heart rate up a little bit. Keep on breathing. Now I'm gonna do one more on each leg. And when you're ready, back to center. We're gonna do some jumping jacks. Feel free to do step jacks, which would be stepping out with your right leg, arms clap above of your head, step back to center and alternate to left. Or you can do a traditional jumping jack where both of your feet you jump up, widen those legs into a V shape, arms come up above the head and back down. Whatever feels right for you. And we'll do this for about 10 more seconds. Get the heart rate up. Get all of your body moving. And keep on breathing. And three, two, one. All right, we're gonna do one more. Just to get everything moving and grooving, we're gonna do some marching in place. Really emphasize that march up. Really bring that knee up towards your chest. And your opposite hand will come in opposition. So left knee comes up, right arm will pump forward and vice versa with the other side. Feel free to make this fast. Feel free to make it slow, whatever your body needs. So you get the heart rate up and your body moving. Go for about 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. All right. Close out our warm up. We're just gonna do some um, running in place or fast feet. Um, for me, I'm not gonna do fast feet, but I'm gonna run in place, jog in place. This might be for you more marching. Um, we're just gonna get the heart rate up a little bit. I'm gonna run in place, jog in place. If the jogging in place is not best for you, feel free to do some more marching. Um, just get that heart rate up a little bit, get our body moving. So we are ready to rock and roll for our workout. Make sure those arms are pumping, whether you're marching or running. Do this for about 10 more seconds. Get that heart rate up. And three, two, one. All right. Does everyone feel warmed up? Do we need to do any more or are we good? I'm good. Awesome. Good. Great, my heart rate's up. I'm already breathing hard. All right, so for those of you who were in earlier, you know that we're gonna go through our circuit workout as an upper body, lower body, and core. We are starting with upper body. And some of these exercises may be new to some of you. So please feel free to ask questions. We will not start until everyone gets the gist. So our first exercise is going to be bicep presses or shoulder presses. We are going to start with our arms out in a T position, fingertips pointing in opposite directions. We're gonna bend our elbows to 90 degrees. So now my fingertips are pointing towards the ceiling. And from here, um, my palms are facing forward. You're welcome to have your palms facing forward or towards your head. From here, we're going to push straight up. So our elbows straighten. We are bringing our hands closer to the ceiling. And then we're going to slowly lower them back down to that 90 degree bend in our elbows. And with this, we'll go for 30 seconds. All these exercises will be 30 seconds. We'll start 90 degree bent, straight up, bend back down. Does anyone have any questions? In front of the side. What'd you say? In front of us or out to the side? So they're out to the side. So our fingertips start pointing in opposite directions like a T, bend our elbows to 90 degrees. So now my 
elbows and shoulders are parallel and my elbows bent so my fingertips are pointing towards the ceiling mm -hmm. and when we go up we're bringing them straight up towards the ceiling straightening our arms so now right. my elbows and my biceps are by my ears and then we'll bend back down to that 90 degree bend shoulders and elbows did that clarify Yep. Perfect. Any other questions with this one? Our fingertips don't touch. They turn the other way, right? They, they're not towards each other. They're turned out, right? They are. So my fingertips are pointing towards the ceiling in this bent position, and my palms are facing forward. Yep, that's how mine are. Okay. Yep, and they're never going to touch. They're just going to drive straight up towards the ceiling, so your arms are straight pointing above your head and then bent back down. Okay, got it. Thank you. Perfect. All right. And our next exercise is going to be bent rows. So we're going to stand with our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to bend at the waist about 45 degrees, just so now your eyes are pointing towards the ceiling. And your arms are going to be down hanging. So my, my hands are in front of my knees hanging from my shoulders. For this one, you're going to want your hands facing inward. So my palms are facing each other. And from here, we're going to bend our elbows up and back. So as I bend my elbows, they're going to bend back and my hands are slowly going to slide towards my rib cage and the sides of my body. So my elbows are bent back behind my back. I'm squeezing my shoulders together. And then we will release the arms back to straight underneath of us. So hanging down by the ground. Pardon? Did you say our eyes are looking up at the ceiling? We're bending at 45, but our eyes are meant to look at the ceiling? Eyes are looking at the floor. OK, yeah, no, but the eyes is making sure. I was like, what? If I said ceiling, I apologize. I definitely meant the no, floor. Sorry. Not the ceiling. <laughs> so bent 45 degrees at the hips. Knees are straight, but they're not locked out. Hands down underneath and palms facing each other. Bend those elbows and squeeze those shoulder blades together and release. Does anyone have any questions on that one? Do my hands touch when they go behind my back? Nope. So your hands are always staying in front of you. So. When you bend your elbows, you're sliding your elbows past your sides, squeezing those shoulder blades. So your hands are almost touching your sides. So my right hand is touching my right side, left hand touching my left side. Elbows oh, are bent. I got it. Yeah, I oh, got it. Ahead. Thank you, Casey. I got okay. it. <laughs> yep. All right. This next one is we're going to do some forearm curls. And this is where I suggest that we pick up some weights. So I have my hands. Um, they are down at my sides, arms are straight. I'm going to raise them out in front of me, almost so my hands are parallel with my shoulders. Palms are up facing the ceiling. And from here, like you're holding a lunch tray out in front of you, your elbows are straight. From here, we're going to bend at our wrists. Our wrists are going to bend towards our face so our palms go from facing the ceiling to facing our face. And our elbows are going to stay straight the whole time. And we're just going to flex that wrist, bend it up so palms are facing your own face. And then relax so they are facing the ceiling, your palms are facing the ceiling. Does that movement make sense? No. So my hands are all flat and the palms are up. Now I yes. don't do a arms. Go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm not doing a bicep curl then? We're nope. So it's the same starting position as a bicep curl, except instead of bending your elbows to bring your hands closer, we're only bending at the wrists. So you should feel this in your forearms. Okay, I feel it now. Just my hands are totally out, and then I'm bringing, I'm like making a um, I'm bringing, yeah, I feel it. The, you're just bending your hands in to make your, um, you're not making a fist, but you're going kind of, 
You're bringing your hands in. Yes. Okay. Hands will, your wrist will bend, so your hands now, palms are facing your face. Okay, got it. Thank you. All right. Does anyone have any questions? All right. Those are our three upper body exercises. We are going to hold them for 30 seconds. I will count down and start each one. Our goal is to get through this three times. So we're going to do 30 seconds of each exercise, 30 second break, and roll right into the next round. All right. All right. We're going to get started with our bicep press. I'm going to turn on the music. All right. So go ahead and get in that ready position. Arms start out in the T, bend those elbows to 90 degrees. All right. And we're going to start in three, two, one. Push those arms straight up towards the ceiling and back down. Push the elbows straight up towards the ceiling and back down. Feel free to do these as fast or as slow as you'd like. Make sure on the way down, it is a controlled motion so you're getting the workout towards the, when you push up as well as when you come back down. Great, nice job guys. And if you're finding that this is too easy with no weight, feel free to grab something with some weight, add some challenge to it. About 10 seconds left, nice job guys. Start to feel it in your arms, I'm feeling it. All right, moving into our bent rows in three, two, one. Arms down, bend those elbows up and back, squeeze those shoulder blades, slowly straighten those arms back out. Make sure your back stays nice and flat. We don't wanna hunch over. Think about keeping a straight line from your neck all the way to your hips. Nice job, guys. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together when you bend those elbows back. Nice job. We got about 10 seconds left. Keep up the work. All right, moving into our forearm curls in three, two, one. Arms are straight out, palms facing the ceiling. Bend those wrists so your palms now are facing your face. Elbows are staying straight, correct? Yes, elbows stay straight. You're only bending at your wrists. Okay. Are you using weights or no? I'm not yet. I'm getting a feel for if I need weights or not. <laughs> um, feel free to pick them up if you think that'll be better for you. Um, feel free to make changes as you need for sure. I'm starting without them. Yeah, me too. I can feel it. Huh. Yeah, this one gets uh -huh. tough. I mean, you underestimate these forearm muscles. I mean, uh -huh. we don't work them too much and it's important because when we do like push-ups or mountain climbers, they're really important to have strong forearms. All right, we've got about five seconds left. And we're gonna take a break in three, two, one. Quick 30 second break, shake those arms out, get ready for round two. My forearms are gonna be killing me tomorrow. Mm. All right, go ahead and get ready for those bicep presses, shoulder presses. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Bend elbows, press them up towards the ceiling, and back down. 
Press up and back down. These ones are also good with weights. Feel free to add the weights as you'd like. Feel free to not add them, whatever is best for you. Really hitting all parts of the arms today and some shoulders. Nice job, guys. Keep it up. Cool. Got about 10 seconds left. And moving into our bent rows in three, two, one. Keep that back flat. Bring those elbows back. Squeeze the shoulder blades and back down. Nice job, guys. Keep on breathing. I know when things get hard, it's easy to hold your breath. Keep on breathing. My elbows are staying straight, right? Your elbows are bending back. So we're bent over. You're starting okay. with your arms underneath. Bend those elbows back behind you, sliding those hands towards your side. Got it, thank you. Yep. Ooh. Got about 10 seconds. Crank it out, almost there. And moving into those forearm curls in three, two, one. Make sure you get a nice, slow release as you're straightening that wrist back out. Try not to let them flop. You'll really feel it both ways, up and down. You'll feel that forearm muscle working. This is a good exercise to do with hand weights if you have those. Um, Forearms are so important and I think we we overlook them sometimes. So these are definitely important exercises. Got about 10 seconds. Nice job, guys. Keep it up. Starting to feel the burn. All right, and we're gonna take a break in three, two, one. Shake out those arms. Quick 30 second break, and we have one more round. How's everyone feeling? Good? Yep. Good deal. All right. Go ahead and find yourself getting ready for those bicep presses. Arms out, bend the elbows. All right, we're gonna start last round. Bicep presses in three, two, one, elbows straight, hands up towards the ceiling, and back down. Feel free to change the position of your hand if they are currently facing inward towards each other. Feel free to switch it so your palms are facing forward and feel how much difference that small motion makes and vice versa. Oh, yeah. Facing forward, point them in, really feel the difference. A good way to make an exercise easier or harder is just by moving that wrist position in that hand position. Nice job, guys. Got about 10 seconds. Feel in the burn. All right, bent rows in three, Two, one, last set of bent rows. You guys got it. Make sure our back is straight. We don't want it arched or hunched over. And make sure those knees aren't locked out. A little bit of bend in them. Nice job, guys.
Got about 10 seconds left. Make these last 10 seconds count. Keep it up. And our last set of forearm curls in three, two, one, start. Good job, guys. Last exercise before we get a break and move into our lower body. Doing good. We're finding some new muscles today. Let me tell you, my forearms are going to hurt tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Got about 10 seconds, 12 seconds left. Keep on going, almost there. All right, and a break in three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Feel free to grab some water, shake out those arms. I'm gonna start explaining our lower body exercises while you guys are getting some water. First exercise are squats. So we're gonna stand with our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to pretend like we're sitting into a chair, bending those knees, lowering that bottom, and then spring back up, pushing those legs back to a straight position. Does anyone have any questions with squats? I think most of you know how to do them. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Next one is calf raises. Feel free to hold onto a wall or a chair for support. We're gonna start with our feet flat on the ground. We're going to push our weight into the balls of our feet and our toes and raise our heels off the ground. So all of my weight is now in my toes and the balls of my feet. And then slowly lower our heels back to the ground so our foot is flat. We'll alternate going up and down. For those of you who are interested, you could also do one-legged calf raises if that is what's best for you. Does anyone need clarification on calf raises? Nope. Perfect. And our last exercise is going to be a forward lunge in this set. So we're going to start with our feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to start with my right foot, take one big step forward, and then I'm going to bend both of my knees. So I'm going to put most of that weight into my right foot and right knee as I bend that back knee towards the ground, just till it feels a little bit difficult. And then we're going to step back in a one fluid motion. Same thing with the left, big step forward, lean into that left knee and left foot, slowly bend that right knee down towards the ground and back up. Any questions on forward lunges? We're not doing any pulsing, right? Not doing any what, sorry? Like pulses? Um, so I'm not quite sure what you know by pulses, but we're just gonna step, bend down, and back up. Okay, so we're not staying down. Okay, we're not holding it. Okay. No, one fluid motion, kinda. Okay, got it, thanks. All right, anyone have any questions? Nope. Wonderful, all right. I'm gonna start the music. Feel free to get ready for our squats. As always, I will count us down. All right, squats in 30 seconds in three, two, one. Make sure that back is staying straight as well. Try not to let it hunch over. If a squat is not good for you, it hurts. You just can't do it for whatever reason that may be. Feel free to do a dip, which is just a, a less deep version of a squat. Bend those knees just a little bit. For my friends who are doing squats in its fullest nature, make sure our knees are not going past our toes. Our toes and our knee should have a straight line. That's to protect our knee joint, our patellar tendon. Got about 10 seconds left. Nice job, guys. All right, indoor calf raises in three, two, one. I will let you know when we're at the 15 second mark if you are doing single leg calf raises. 
or you know when to switch. And if you have hand weights nearby, feel free to hang on to those. I mean, it gives you a little bit more weight, gives you a little bit more of a, you know, a little bit more of a challenge. So feel free to do so. We are hitting our 15 second mark now. Feel free to switch feet if applicable. Good job, guys. The slower you lower down your heels, the harder this exercise will be. So I challenge you to do a couple really slow, coming back down and really feel it in those calves. Got about five seconds. Nice job. And moving into our forward lunge in three, two, one. I'm starting with my right leg, taking that step, bending the knees and back to center. Stepping with the left foot, bending those knees, back to center. Feel free to grab a wall or a chair. If you're a little unbalanced, I'm using a wall just to make sure that I'm getting in the right positions. Nice job, guys. These ones get tough. Nice job. Same thing applies here. Don't let that front knee pass your toe. We want to protect our knee joints and our tendons. Almost there. Feel free to change the depth of the bend in your knees. You don't need to go down all the way to get the benefits of this motion. Do what's best for you. All right, we are gonna take a 30 second break. In three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Then grab some water. All right, find yourself in a ready position for those squats. Start in three, two, one, squat. Nice job, guys. Really be aware of those knees, making sure they're not bending past those toes. Being aware of your back, it is nice and flat, we're not hunched over. Feel free to put your hands on your hips. Feel free to put your hands in praying position, whatever works for you. Got about 10 seconds. Almost there. Nice job. All right. Moving into our calf raises in three, two, one. Nice job, guys. Really feel the calves burning on this one. Keep on going. If you're doing single legs, we're about 15 seconds, maybe a little bit over, I apologize. Keep on cat freezing. Feel free to change the speeds at which you do this. Nice slow movement up, nice slow movement down. Makes it just a little more challenging. We've got about Five seconds left. And moving into our forward lunges in three, two, one. I'm starting with my right leg, stepping, 
bending those knees, back to center. Left leg steps, bend the knees, back to center. Nice job, guys. Making sure we're aware of the knees in the front, making sure it doesn't pass that big toe. This is also a great exercise to be aware of your core and your back as well. Our back should stay straight. Something that helps me do this is if I put my hands on my hips, more inclined to stand up a little more straight. We've got about 10 seconds, almost there. Nice job, guys. All right, we're gonna take a break in three, two, one. Got one more, one more round of lower body. Grab some water, shake out those legs. Doing awesome. How's everyone feeling? Good. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna find myself in a ready position. We got one more round. Make it the best one. Starting with those squats. In three, two, one. Being aware of that back. Keeping it nice and straight and flat. Keep on breathing. Things start to get a little tricky and difficult here. Keep on breathing through the parts of discomfort. Nice job, everyone. Keep it up. Almost there. We've got about 12 seconds left. Half raises in three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Really focus on that lowering down of the heel. We don't want to just flop back down to the ground. We want nice controlled movements. Really feel it in the calf and honestly, maybe a little bit in the ankle too. My ankles are feeling it too. Nice job, guys. For anyone who is doing single leg, we are at the 15 second mark. Go ahead and change. For the rest of us, about halfway done, almost there. Keep it up. Almost there. And we've got one last lower body exercise. Going into those forward lunges in three, two, one. Oh, I'm starting with my right leg, alternating to the left. Make sure we're holding a good form, doing these as they're meant to be. It's really easy to start getting a little wonky when you get tired, and I am a culprit of that. So just be very aware of your body. Make sure we're doing these motions the correct way. They don't have to be fast. Do what's best for you. Finish out strong. We've got about 15 seconds remaining. Nice job, everyone. Almost there. All right, and we're gonna finish out our lower body exercises in three, two, one, great. <laughs> Woo, nice job everyone. Woo. How are we feeling? Burning. <laughs> yeah, me too. Wow. For those yep. of you who don't know, 
I'm in the Boise office and our huddle room is tiny and there's no windows or anything. So it gets so hot in here. <laughs> I just start sweating up a storm. Yeah. All right. Cool beans. We're going to move into our core. I'll give you the lowdown. As always, ask any questions you might have. So for our core, we're going to start with sit-ups or crunches. Does anyone need an explanation on a sit-up or a crunch? So what is the difference, actually? I, I can never figure that out. Yeah. So in a sit-up, um, the sit-up motion is you're going from fully on the ground with your back. Mm -hmm. And you're coming all the way up. So your stomach is tucking your thighs and your chest is now completely pointing at the wall in front of you. Whereas in a crunch, you're only crunching the, if you think about it, the top half of your body. So you're going to bend just so your face and part of your shoulders come up facing the wall in front of you. And so that's then a you real kind the crunch is the tiny motion and the sit-up is the big. Yes, correct. Okay. And where are your feet in all this? Are they bent or are they straight? Um, normally they're bent so that you'll bend your knees so your feet are flat on the ground. Okay. Mine are probably bent at about 90 degrees, so my knees are pointing up towards the ceiling, feet are flat on the ground. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, after our sit-ups and crunches, we're going to do alternating leg lifts. So we'll be flat on our back. I put my hands um, flat on the ground as well, just at my sides. And we're gonna alternate between left, lifting our right leg up. So our toes are now pointing towards the ceiling or as close to that position as you can get. We'll slowly lower our right leg back down and then we'll lift our left leg in the same manner, toes pointing towards the ceiling. My knee is staying straight. You will feel this in your hip flexors and your lower core. Um, for those of you who want an added challenge, um, I challenge you to keep your legs hovering above the ground. So when you lift that leg up, you're gonna bring it up, lower it back, but it never touches the ground. It stays just about two inches above the ground the whole time. And you'll okay, alternate- Okay, so like a that. flutter kick. Yes, kind of like a flutter kick. Just imagine like a, a big kick. <laughs> Instead of the kicks, we're lifting the leg. Okay, great, thank you. Perfect, and um, any questions on that before I move on to the last one? Nope, all right. Last one's gonna be bicycles. So we'll be flat on our back. My hands are behind my head with my elbows bent and my my knees are going to be bent at a 90 degree angle with my feet off the ground. The bottoms of my feet are pointing at the wall um, closest to my feet. So my ankles are bent. So um, 90 degrees about. Mm -hmm. So my knees are bent in the air and my feet are pointing towards the wall in front of me. And from here, we're going to bring right elbow to left knee. So you're crossing the body with your right elbow towards your left knee. If you can't touch it, totally fine, because I can't either. And then you'll return back to center. And the same thing, left elbow comes towards right knee and back to center. So your legs are om almost making like a bicycle motion as your upper body, your elbow is meeting that opposite knee. So my feet going, I'm trying to figure out, um, are they going, are they crossing, are they crossing or no? They're not exactly crossing. So start with your legs flat on the ground. Yeah. Um, bend them. So now your feet are flat on the ground. Knees are bent 90 degrees. Okay. And then simply just pick your feet up. So now you're bringing them up and your, your knees and your toes are parallel. Yes. And your feet are your bottoms of your feet are pointing that wall. And then from here, you're just bending at the hip and you're just a motion to have your knee and your elbow meet. So for me, it's kind of just like a bicycle motion almost. Yeah, so um, kind of bending and straight, bending and straightening, right? Um, your knees? Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, I think I got it. Thank you. Perfect. All right. Any other questions on that? And my hands are down on my side or behind my head for that? Behind your head and your elbows <laughs> will like meet your knee if that makes sense on I other side. Off the ground, right? Yes. Okay, got it. Thank you, Casey. Yep. All right. We're gonna run through these ones. We're gonna do them quick. We're running out of time today. We're gonna do the three rounds as promised. Go ahead and get on your back. Get ready for those sit-ups. I will count you down as always. To make sure we have time, we're gonna do a 15 second break between rounds. All right. Starting with our sit-ups or crunches in three, two, one. Make sure we're doing nice controlled movements. If you're doing a full sit up, try not to flop back down to the ground. Really feel your core lower you back down. Same with the crunch. Make sure we're pulling up and controlled motion back down. And nice job, keep it up. Got about 10 seconds left. And moving into our alternating leg lifts in three, two, one. I'm starting with my right leg, straight leg, lifting it up and lowering it. Left leg up and lowering it. Same thing here, nice controlled motions. We don't want to just flop that leg back to the ground because we're missing out on some of that workout. So nice controlled motions, precise movements. I like to say we do these movements with purpose, just being cognizant of why we do it and how we do it. Nice job, guys. <sighs> Really feel that burn. Doing great. Got about 10 seconds left. Almost there. And moving into our bicycles in three, two, one. Again, if your elbow doesn't quite touch your knees, totally fine. Mine doesn't touch either. If you can get them to touch, great. Not for me, sorry. <laughs> I even close. Yeah, everybody has a different body and everybody is able to do what they can do. And if it works you out, that's awesome. That's what we're aiming for. So don't get discouraged if maybe sometimes someone does something different from you. Because whatever works for you may not work for someone else. So keep up the hard work. We're doing good. We've got about 10 seconds left. Almost there. And we're gonna take a 15 second break in three, two, one. Woo, nice job guys. These ones get tough quick. All right, get ready for those sit-ups. We're gonna start in about five seconds. And three, two, one. Sit-ups or crunches, whatever one works for you. And feel free to switch. Um, feel free to feel what each one does for you. Maybe the crunches works a different part of your core than the sit-ups does, or vice versa. Whatever is best for you. Nice controlled motions, movement with purpose. Nice job, guys. Really feel that burn. Doing good. Keep on breathing. Got about seven seconds left. You guys got it. Moving into our alternating leg lifts in three, two, one. I'm starting with my right leg. Nice 
Good job, guys. Keep it up. Feel free to also test your hand position. You can put your hands under your bottom, see what that does for you. you can put your hands behind your head, whatever, you know, whatever you want to experiment with, go for it. Sometimes little changes like that can change a whole exercise for someone. Doing good. Keep up the hard work. Got about 10 seconds left. This one gets tricky. Keep it up. Doing great. All right, we're moving into our bicycles in three, two, one. If at any point you need to put your feet on the ground instead of hovering in the air, totally fine. Do what's best for you. If you choose to lower your legs on the ground, your feet will be flat, knees bent at 90 degrees, and then bring that knee up and back down. Nice job, guys. Almost there. Got about 12 seconds left. All right, and a quick break in three, two, one. Got one more round. We're gonna make a count. My core is burning, working hard. Hope you guys feel the same. Oh yeah. All right. Gonna start those sit-ups and crunches for the last time in three, two, one. Nice job, everyone. Last round, make it count. Really cognizant of those movements. Nice job. About 10 seconds left, make it count. Doing great. All right, leg lifts for the last time in three, two, one. Keep up the hard work, guys. Almost there. Doing great. Doing awesome. Sorry, you guys, we got to cut it short. Thanks, Casey. Bye, Crystal. You're welcome. Bye. Nice job, nice job. About 10 seconds left. What happened? I don't know. I don't hear her. I mean, 
Oh, I wonder if she doesn't know she left maybe when Crystal did. No, I think she lost her mic maybe. I I wonder, so, she's still we, there. Are we on bicycles? I don't know. <laughs> we don't have any uh, audio for you. Are you able to hear me now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think my microphone died and it didn't want to switch sources. I apologize. That's okay. Yeah. I'm hearing All right. If you're still doing bicycles, I apologize. That was like an extra 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. So we're on bicycles now? No, we finished our bicycles. I don't know when I cut out. I apologize. Okay, it's okay. All okay, right. well. I, I did them and realized you weren't there. Yeah, <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy. I apologize. Well, I will make sure that doesn't happen again, but... Um, it's okay. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I was just doing Legos. So I'm like, okay, I guess I'll keep going. <laughs> no worries. All right. Well, for those of you who have the time, we're going to run through a quick cool down. Um, it is top of the hour. If you need to hop off, please do a cool down on your own. I totally understand. But for those of you who are here, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're just going to start with a, um, a pectoral or shoulder stretch. So I'm going to bring my hands behind me and I'm going to interlock them together or um, grab them one way or another, whatever's comfortable. We're just going to straighten those arms out. So now my elbows are straight, hands are interlocked behind me. Mine kind of hit right at my tailbone. What we're going to do from here, we're going to pull our shoulders backwards. So think about bringing both of your shoulders back to the wall behind you and you'll feel your shoulders open up in the front. This is your pectoral muscles. From here, we're going to slowly lean back just ever so slightly, really opening up that chest and those shoulders. Are you guys able to feel it? Yeah. We're just gonna hold this for a few more seconds, about five more seconds. And release that stretch. Oh. We're going to do that one more time. Interlock those hands, straighten the elbows behind us, bring those shoulders back, trying to point them towards the wall behind us, and lean back. Really open up that chest and the shoulders. We're going to hold it for about 10 more seconds. Nice job today, guys. Today this is an good. awesome person. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And I, I try to do some different stuff. Um, yeah, I like the variety. Yeah, then go ahead and release that stretch. Ooh. We're going to go ahead and do some overhead side bends. So I'm going to stand with my feet just wider than shoulder width apart. Arms are up, interlocked above my head. So my hands are interlocked, arms up towards the ceiling, elbows are by my ears. And we're going to slightly bend to the right, bending those arms and shoulders towards the right wall. And you will feel a stretch in your left side. Don't push it too far. Just push it to where you feel a stretch. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. And really feel your heart rate come down at this time. <sighs> Release that stretch. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Slowly bend your hands and your shoulders towards the left wall. That stretch in your right side, breathing into it. And relax that stretch. And you can let your arms relax as well. All right, since we worked our forearms, we're going to stretch them out. So to do so, I'm going to take my right arm straight out in front of me, like you're pointing towards the wall in front of you, elbows straight. You're going to take your left hand, you're going to grab the tips of your fingers, and we're just going to pull that hand back towards your face. So your hand will be facing down towards the ground. You're going to pull your fingertips up with the other hand and pull those fingertips back towards your face. 
So now your palm is facing the wall in front of you and you feel a stretch on the bottom part of your wrist. Does that make sense? Are you guys feeling that? Oh yes. yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Really stretch them out since we worked them. And for me, I don't regularly work my forearms. So it's really important to stretch out those muscles we don't often work out. Um, it'll help reduce any inflammation, any soreness. And go ahead and relax that hand. We're going to repeat with the other side, left arm out, and bend those fingertips back towards our face, feeling that stretch on the underside of our wrist. So for those of you who are still on, what did you guys think of the upper body workout today, the exercises that were done? Did you like them? Would you rather not do them again? I liked them. Okay. They were fine. Okay, cool. Yeah. I like them and I can feel them. Perfect. Yeah, I, I was I was just thinking, um, hold on, before I start talking, let's relax that stretch. Um, and then we're just going to go into some neck rolls. So I'm going to start by chin to my chest, and then I'm going to roll my neck. So now my ear is touching, my right ear is touching my right shoulder. Then continue rolling it in a circle. So that you go um, in a circular motion of chin to chest, ear to shoulder, and then head is back, and then left ear to left shoulder, and back around. Just some nice neck rolls. I'm going right to start. We're going to switch sides, so don't worry. But as I was saying, I think it's important to do exercises that work different parts of the body than we're used to. So um, just wanted so to give it a try. All right, we're going to switch sides. Go ahead and roll to the other direction. Really open up that neck. Ooh. All right, give it about two more circles. If you start to feel lightheaded, slow your circle down just nice and slow. It's easy to get a little disoriented with this. So just nice, slow. All right. And let's see, we've got one more. We're going to do some just forward folds and breathing. Um, we do these in yoga a lot. I do them a lot in my workouts, so you might recognize these. But we're going to go ahead and start standing up straight, feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to make a big circle with my arms, starting at my sides, lifting them up to a T position and then up towards the ceiling. We're going to take two deep breaths in and out in this position. In and out, once more, in and as you blow out, we're going to bend at our hips falling forward so our hands are dangling underneath of us. You're going to feel your lower back open up a lot here. Um, for me, it's cracking a lot. <laughs> um, really let it open up. We're going to take two deep breaths in this position, in and out, once more, in and out and when you're ready slowly stand back up not too fast and we're going to do this two more times so big circle with the arms starting at the side into a t position and up towards the ceiling two deep breaths in and out in and out and when you're ready slowly falling forward bending at the hips Arms are now dangling down by our feet, hanging from our shoulders. Two deep breaths in and out, in and out. Slowly coming back to a standing upright position. And once more, big circle with those arms up towards the ceiling. Two breaths in, out, in. And out when you're ready, slowly falling forward, bending at the hips. Feel free to tuck that chin to your chest. It will open up your back even more. And last time, two breaths in and out. In and out, slowly standing back up. Feel free to shake your arms and legs out a little bit. But that is our workout today. I'm so glad that you guys joined us. 
And as always, the Northwest Association for Blind Athletes mission is to provide life-changing opportunity through sport and physical activity to individuals who are blind or visually impaired. And we are so glad that you guys joined us for our circuit workout today. Thank you, Casey. This is awesome.